member for Edmonton Stratcombe. Mr. Speaker, Alberta has announced a $30 million program to incent home energy retrofits and potentially solar installations. Good news for families whose energy bills are on the rise. This also responds to Albertans' call for deeper action on climate change and health impacts of fossil fuels. Energy retrofit and solar installation projects will create well-paying jobs across our nation's communities. But the Conservatives axed the federal program. Will this government take real action to address growing family debt and reinstate the federal eco-energy home energy retrofit yeah, yeah, program? Good idea. The Honourable Parliament, Secretary for Natural Resources. Mr. Speaker, we are proud of the fact that Canada relies on non-emitting sources for more than three quarters of our electricity mix. In fact, the International Energy Agency rated Canada second in energy efficiency improvements between 1990 and 2010. Our, our government will continue to invest in Canadian companies that are developing innovative and sustainable technologies. Uh, the Honourable Member for Edmonton, Strathcona. Perhaps the government could check, Mr. Speaker, that the majority of uh, electricity in Alberta comes from coal power. Yeah. The Conservatives malign U.S. efforts to cut greenhouse gas emissions, yet we remain way behind our neighbours in reducing energy costs for the federal government. In 2005, the U.S. passed a law imposing mandatory energy reductions and renewable power targets for all federal departments. Even George Bush enacted an energy security law for Americans. Where is the parallel and long-promised Canadian clean energy strategy? Or was it deep six with the demise of Bruce Carson? The Honourable Permanent Secretary for the Environment. Speaker? as a leader in the environment. We only account for less than, what Canadians need to know, we only account for less than 2% of global greenhouse gases, and for this reason, Canada supports international agreement on climate change that includes real action by all emitters. In the meantime, our government's doing our part by taking action to reduce greenhouse gases in Canada. Since 2006, we invested significant funds in more efficient technologies, better infrastructure, adaptation, and cleaner en energy. Mr. Speaker, we, we've done it without a $20 billion yes. carbon tax. Exactly. We're protecting the environment, Mr. Speaker. Canadians want us. Or, order uh, the Honourable Member for Brant.